Hey everyone, it's Esmond and welcome to Basically MTG. Uh, this is episode number 5 of Tabletop Brawl. This is a series where we play the Brawl format, which is a 60 card singleton format uh, with a commander and using only standard legal cards. So right now the standard pool is at its maximum size, which means that we're at a point where we have access to the largest uh, variety of cards and theoretically should be able to create the strongest decks. So for today, we're each playing commanders from different sets and hopefully we'll all get to execute our own game plans. Um, if you enjoy this series, please check out my other gameplay series. It's called Quintessential Commander and it's essentially the same thing as this series except that we play Commander or EDH. And you can also help this channel to grow by just liking the video, subscribing to the channel. It helps YouTube get this video out to more people. And you know, tell me in the comments below if you have any requests or any decks you'd like to see. You know, I'll try and make it happen. And finally, you can also support me directly on Patreon. I'm going to add in more benefits as this channel grows. And you know, really every dollar helps me uh, to create better and to create more content for you guys. So anyway, today we have four vastly different decks. Um, for me, I'm playing probably what is my favorite deck, which is Croxa, Discard and Sacrifice. So I'll be trying my best to empty my opponent's hands, uh, destroying any threats that they play, and gain value from sacrificing my own creatures. So I hope to be able to cast Croxa a few times and, you know, eventually use him to beat down my opponents. Uh, but otherwise, I can also drain them or just ping them all to death. My wife is playing, and she's playing one of the new Planeswalkers from Core Set 2021, which is Garuk Unleashed. So she loves like fast and aggressive beatdown kind of decks. And I think Garuk is perfect for that because, you know, firstly he pumps creatures and gives them trample, which is super important. And he can also make creatures if she doesn't have any on board. So this deck is just looking to play value creatures uh, on curve and make them bigger, you know, give them trample and basically just stomp through everyone else. Next we have Gabriel and Gabriel is playing one of his first ever brawl decks that he built, which is Chulain Teller of Tales. So his deck is trying to gain value from casting and recasting creatures because uh, Chulain's ability lets him draw loads of cards every time a creature is cast and also to put down lands to ramp him ahead of everyone else. Then he can eventually win by casting a big uh, end race forerunners and pump the whole team or by sinking all of his mana into a huge finale of glory and just beat down with flying angels or he can just simply draw his entire deck and win with a Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Lastly, we have Shu Tell. So Shu Tell is playing a relatively new commander too. It's Nethroy, Apex of Death from Ikoria. Uh, his deck is probably best described as an aristocrat style uh, reanimator deck. So he wants to get value when his creatures die and then this fills up his graveyard which he can then reanimate using Nethroy or something else like Eerie Ultimatum. And then he can just proceed to do it all over again. And with that, let's brawl. Draw a card for turn. Right. Okay, LA planes. One. Garrison chat. Let's go. Okay. Oh, okay. Draw. Yeah. Wild. I'll stack to get an island. Comes attacked. Okay, I'll shuffle my deck and then I'll pass. I'll draw. Play a forest. Okay. Pelt collector. Oh my gosh. Okay, go. Alright. That's pretty good. Yeah. Draw. Play a blood trip, tap, and say go. Alright, untap, drop. Alright, lay a jungle hollow tap and a game on life. And combat. Mm. Uh, I'll tap Gero for one. I'll take one. Okay, wait, then I'll tap planes. Uh, hunter. Two. Say go. Oh, same thing. I'll tap draw. I'll play a planes and I pass. Yeah, draw. Okay, I'll play a I'll tap two and I'll play scavenging. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, Pelt Collector trigger. I get 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, I go to combat. But I'll attack Gabriel. You should attack Esmond instead. No, you should attack Gabriel. Always Gabriel. attack Gabriel. I'll take 2, no blocks. Okay, go. Right. Attack. Drop. I'll play as well. I'll tap 2 for Dreadhought Invasion. And say go. Untap. Drop. I'll play a Swampy Swamp. 
uh, tap 3 Play a Death Oasis So I go to combat Now I think both AD bro Okay, no blocks 2 Say go Drop Play a forest And I pass <laughs> All 3 colors Okay, like that? Yeah So I'll play a Lotus Spill Comes in tap That's right And I sacrifice 2 yet yeah. Yep I'll attack Shu Chiang Okay I cannot block, so I take all the damage. And go! Alright, I tap. Oh, my upkeep and vision will trigger. I get the zombie out of me. I'll lose a life. Then I'll draw for turn. Play swamp. Tap 3. I'll play mayhem with devil. And say go. Drop. I pass my turn, say go. Okay. I drop. Play cast of interest. Tap 4. That's the quickest race. Okay. Uh, that ends my turn. Go ahead. Okay. Then I'll attack. Cool. I'll attack for 3 mana. I'll play Horn Bash Mentor. Help collect the trigger. Then I'll put a trample counter on Scavenging Wounds. And I will attack Gabriel. Why? No blocks. And go! Alright, uh, you're in step. Uh. I'll attack 3. I'll cast Mythos of Destroy. So I'll destroy the Scavenging Wounds. <sighs> Okay, my turn. So upkeep, I'll lose a life and a mass one. And I will untap and draw. Play a swamp. I will go to combat. I'll send both at Gabriel. Then second main, I'll tap three. I will cast a spawn of mayhem for a spectacle cost. Yep. And I'll see you go. Alright. Tap. Drop. <laughs> Alright, play face. I'll tap two. I'll play a type taker. Thanks. Say go! Okay, I'm back. Drop. I play tap here. Okay. I'm gonna tap out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. I'll play Finale of Glory to get 4 2 2 soldiers. Nice. I need some blockers. Yeah. I pass the turn. Okay, I'll play Forest. Then I'll tap 4. Mm -hmm. And I'll play my Commander. Plus 1. I'll give Mentor plus 3 plus 3. And it gains trample until end of turn. Nice. I'll go to combat. Just kill all his tiny stuff, I won't look at tiny stuff. He's trying to distract you. He, this one will do one damage to you every turn. Oh. Okay, and I'll attack you. Wrap up your game plan or not? Alright. <laughs> attack Asma. Okay, uh, I declare no block, so I'll take six. And go. So I have two triggers. Uh, I will lose one and the last one. Yeah. And then everyone takes one damage from the spawn. And then I will untap. It's very painful. And draw for turn. Oh, are you kidding me? No lands, very good. Oh, no, I got all the wrong lands. Okay, I'll play a castle lock, please. Okay, I'll tap five. I'll place a Conrad, the green. Oh, no. And then I'll go to combat. I'll send this at Garu. I will send this at Shutel. Alright, I'll block with Tide Taker. No blocks. Okay, so damage. Okay, so Tide Taker dies. Tide Taker dies. Garu takes 4. So it's the correct triggers of Tide Taker. Each yeah. opponent takes 1 damage. Right, on Tide Taker dying, 1-1 uh, White Black Spirit comes in. On Tide Taker dying, I'll trigger Death's Oasis. So I'll put 2 cards from the green graveyard. Q. There's nothing in my graveyard that's less than 2 CMC, so it doesn't trigger. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Good. Tap. Drop. Leave this tap. We gain one life. Pass. Okay. Drop. Drop. Please finish off Garo. Okay, Island. Chibi, I will not kill your Garo. <laughs> Kidding me? Ah, uh, I got a zombie. I play. Elite Duke Mage. Yeah. Um, I play Risen Reef. Uh, Risen Reef triggers. Remember yeah, your game plan. Remember your game plan. Okay, um, I pass it then. I'll draw from my turn. I'll tap 4. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll play Vivian. Ooh, oh, oh, fight! I'll tell you my plan, okay? My game plan from now on forward is to kill Gabriel first. Uh -huh. No, please don't. And then after that, choose help. Uh -huh. okay. Then after that, you. Yes. So, so you just kill so me. <laughs> if you kill me, one of them is going to win me. But you should kill Conrad, to be yeah. honest. To be honest, kill Conrad. Kill Conrad. At least kill Conrad. <laughs> 
I think oh. mentor. Okay. And then our plus one for Vivian. Okay. Oh. So this gets a plus one, this gets a plus one. Then swing at Esmond. I mean, if you, if you swing at me, everything will die. Uh, I will block everything. Uh. I will swing at Shu Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll take 11. And I say go! Okay, so on my upkeep, I will lose one life, and mess one, and then everyone takes one damage. And then I will untap. And draw. And we'll tap. Swamp and a mountain. Uh -huh. I will cast Croxa. So Croxa enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. And Let's try some rest. Discards the next time you get. Okay, so you take three lives. I will discard my elder. Go, go, go. <laughs> so two creatures enter the graveyard, so the corner will trigger twice. Yep. So each of you take two damage. And then Croxa's sacrifice ability will happen, so I'll sacrifice it back to the command zone. That will trigger Mayhem Devil. I'll do one damage to the cat. Alright, cat dies. Uh, my cat will bring in a 1 1 fight human the soldier. I'll trigger my Osis. 2. Man. Oh. Alright, so 3 creature cards enter the graveyard, so it gives 3 damage to the opponent. Okay, and then I'll play a swarm. I'll tap 4. Play Liliana. We got the dip. So I'll plus 1, and each player discards a card. Each opponent who can't will lose 3 life. I will discard an uh, opportunistic dragon. I will discard my ultimatum. Yeah, forest. A crashing born to die. Okay, so two creatures enter the graveyard, so it's a current retrieval twice. Did I not say to kill that two turns ago? And then I will move to combat. I will send this at Gabriel. Yep. I'll send the other three at Shu. Okay. Uh, if you block, I die. La. I mean, I'm dead either way, because when if I block. Yeah, he has to. Uh, it's okay, I choose to not block. Okay. Uh, Alright, Elite Garbage blocks. Spawn me here. Okay, so she just locked out. You take one trample, and then Sakura trigger once. One. And I'm done. Okay. Thanks, Wichao. Let me avenge you. Yeah. Draw. Play Castle Garibri. Uh, Castle Garibri enters where I get another. Yeah, then I'll cast Cavalier of Gills. I'll trigger Cavalier first. Okay. Draw three. Put two back. Then Wizardry triggers. How long for this comes in? Okay, I'll help you out first, Jingmin. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Were you promising not to swing yes. anything? Huh? Yes. Really? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Then um, two zombies and four soldiers swing at you as well. Including the reason Rift. Okay, I can't block. I'll take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Yep. Alright, I'm down to five. I said four. Uh, to play. Stone Call Seven. Axis 4. Okay, go ahead. Give me. Yeah. Okay, I'll tap. Okay, so I'll plus one to Garu. Mm. And I'll give it okay. plus three, plus three. Okay, I'll, then I'll minus three. My mentor Do damage to? use damage to. Cavalier? Yeah, Cavalier. Cavalier. Okay, Cavalier of Gears dies. Oh, dice shuffle it next, right? Yeah. So on the death trigger, each of you will take one life. I'll check four. And I'll play Questing Beast. I'll go to combat. Swing both of them to Gibbs. Gabriel. Okay. And swing my Pelt Collector to Esmond. Okay, I can't block. I'll okay, take I'm gonna block four damage. Uh Stone Call Serpent blocks Questing Beast. And then 10 power and darkness blocks mentor. Stone Call Serpent and Questing Beast trades. And then this also dies and kills off 7 7 7 7 kills 4 then must die. No 3. So I don't think anything. Yeah, but will you die from Sir Conrad? So that triggers Sir Conrad 6 times, each of you will take 6 damage. Every 6, I'm dead. Go! Okay, die. so my turn. On my upkeep, I will lose 1 life and amass 1 and then I will okay. die. Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay, game. So, well, that's it for the game. Uh, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. I think I got too carried away at the end with that last attack. You know, I thought I could definitely take Xu Zhou and Gabriel both out at the same time and eventually defeat my wife who was stuck on land. Uh, but as always, you know, she wins. Um, well, the aggro decks, I think, definitely had the upper hand today. And overall, I thought it was a pretty good game. You know, with some really interesting synergies and interactions. Uh, unfortunately, I think my wife and Xiu Tiao both got stuck on lands. 
and Gabriel's deck just wasn't fast enough. Um, yeah, but overall, pretty fun. So once again, uh, if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. Just say something nice, uh, it means a lot to me. And like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye!